dealer today. Well, with any luck, we may need those coats mm -hmm. and maybe get a little rain with it. Angelica's watching what's going <laughs> on. I love that picture behind you. This picture, they are calling it the tree of life. It looks because like Because it. it actually looks like a tree. Thank you, Jessica, for posting this to our 10 News Weather Watchers. We've seen an array of clouds out there. Just uh, a beautiful day, a little bit cooler, nice little breeze. And now we're tracking the potential for a touch of drizzle as we head into tonight. The next four days, quite interesting. Even though today is cool, there's going to be an elevated fire danger developing tonight and into tomorrow. We're going to be warming up again. Again on Friday, it'll be mild Saturday, then another storm moving in late day on Sunday, and that is going to bring a better chance of rainfall. So far, visibility not too bad. We did have some problems out there last night, especially around midnight. We'll continue to see that visibility dropping once again down to seven miles in IB. Give it a few more hours and it could be lower. Colder air in the wake of this system already moving in. You can see all the cumulus clouds sitting up over the ocean, a good indicator of that cooler air moving in. But what's going to happen is that we'll see a touch of drizzle tonight and then the winds will be offshore. That's going to get rid of any cloud coverage and also minimize the chance of any more rainfall. It'll be dry for the rest of the week and our 10 news pinpoint rain future cast not even a cloud in the sky for the end of the week. But then on Saturday afternoon, we'll start to increase the cloud coverage ahead of the storm moving in on Sunday. And like I said, a better chance of rainfall then already our models indicating a 90% chance about 10% on Monday and Tuesday. So a couple of days that we could be looking at some wet weather, but for tonight it does get cool once again. Ramona 45, 42 in Julian, 51 in Poway, and 56 in San Diego. Tomorrow will be in the low 70s, a comfortable day temperature wise, but it will be a windy one with a wind advisory for our higher elevations, that including our mountains from Julian all the way up to Palomar Mountain. In our 10 news pinpoint seven day forecast in the 70s, clear skies. Today was a cloudy day. Tomorrow, maybe a little bit of patchy fog into the morning. Otherwise, sunny on Friday, breezy at times. Saturday, 70 degrees, then tracking the potential for another storm Sunday night. And our 10 news pinpoint seven day forecast inland will be breezy on Thursday and Friday with that offshore flow wind flow coming out of the northeast. Temperatures rebound near 80 degrees on Friday and then cooling that cooling down as the next storm moves in on Sunday in the mountains. 54 degrees for tomorrow. So another cool day will continue dropping temperatures there. You add the wind. It's going to feel like it's in the 40s. So for our mountain, our mountain areas, it's going to be a chilly day tomorrow and windy as well. So what do you think about December? Do you think we're going to get uh, more rain than we usually get? Well, what I think is going to happen is that we're going to get this very active pattern. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of how long we can keep it going. I believe it will continue into early December. Now, December as a whole could right. still be above average. So okay. you're, you're not necessarily saying the La Nina winter. Yeah. No, but we do have a nice pattern on the way, and we'll take whatever we can get. We'll go with the pattern. Always mm -hmm. looking for it. Mm -hmm.